Jake Carter stood on the rooftop of his apartment building in New York City, squinting at the strange lights in the sky. It was late evening, and the city was abuzz with speculation about the phenomenon that had captivated the world's attention for days. The news called them visitors, massive, silent ships that hovered ominously over major cities across the globe. Their sleek, metallic forms were unlike anything seen before, glowing with an eerie, otherworldly light. At first, humanity watched in awe, wondering if these beings came in peace or with hostile intentions. Governments sent messages of welcome and peace, but the visitors did not respond. The silence was unsettling. One fateful day, the mysterious beings revealed themselves. They were tall, with slender bodies and elongated limbs, covered in shimmering scales that seemed to change color with the light. Their eyes were large and dark, exuding an air of intelligence and cold indifference. They moved with a fluid grace, descending from their ships and spreading across the cities. It didn't take long for panic to spread. The visitors began to capture people, encasing them in strange cocoons. These cocoons were attached to the walls of buildings, lampposts, and any available surface, pulsating. Jake watched in horror as his neighbors were taken, their screams muffled by the alien material. Jake, a former soldier, relied on his instincts and training to survive. He stayed hidden, moving only under the cover of darkness, scavenging for food and water. The once vibrant city turned into a ghost town, filled with the eerie silence of abandonment and the occasional distant hum of the visitors' activities. Days passed, each one more harrowing than the last. The visitors showed no mercy, capturing humans and animals alike, filling the city with their cocoons. Jake found a small group of survivors, huddled in an old subway tunnel. Together, they planned and hoped, but deep down, they knew their chances were slim. The streets were empty, buildings crumpled, and a thick silence hung over the city. Communication lines were down, and there was no way of knowing how many had survived worldwide. The small group of survivors looked at each other, a mix of relief and despair in their eyes. They had survived the immediate threat, but the future was uncertain. Then, as abruptly as they had arrived, the visitors left. Their ships ascended into the sky, disappearing into the vastness of space. The cocoons, now devoid of life, began to disintegrate, leaving behind a fine, glittering dust. Jake and the other survivors emerged from their hiding places, stepping into a world forever changed. Jake took a deep breath, feeling the weight of the new world pressing down on him. We need to find others, rebuild, and be ready if they come back. The survivors nodded, drawing strength from each other. They started to organize, scavenging for supplies, setting up makeshift shelters, and sending out signals in the hope of finding more survivors. Months turned into years, and humanity slowly began to rebuild. Communities formed, and a semblance of society re-emerged from the ruins. But the fear never truly went away. The question lingered in everyone's mind, will they come back? The future was uncertain, but one thing was clear, humanity would endure. They would rebuild, adapt, and be ready to face whatever came next. And if the visitors ever returned, they would find a world that had learned from its past and was prepared to fight for its future.